I've had my share of things that I wish never happened again. I'm from a small town. It's technically a village because of the population. And you have to drive at least 10 miles to get to a store of any kind. It was the morning of my oldest daughter's second birthday. I had already made her cake and had all of her decorations to put up. I just wanted to go into town and pick up a few last minute things. I'm kind of frugal or cheap, so I shop at dollar stores and the only grocery store in my area was a mom and pop shop. The stores were arranged in two shopping centers across the street from each other. I headed to one of the dollar stores without thinking much. I always have a smile. I'm from the south and my mama raised me with manners, so no matter a person's age or sex, I will hold doors and say yes ma'am or no sir. While heading in the first dollar store, I spotted a gentleman and I just nodded at him and kept going, continued with my shopping and checked out. As I headed out to the parking lot though, I see a white truck turn and head across the street to the same area that I'm going to. No big deal though, it's a small town. When I started walking out to my car, I was sort of zoning out and taking my time, and balanced my checkbook, then I headed to the next store. As I pulled into the next parking lot, I saw the same white truck. I decided to circle back to the original store that I first stopped at and rushed in. The cashier that had just checked me out asked, Did you forget something, hun?" I told her, No ma'am. I think I'm being followed. She described the man that I had been seeing and asked me, Y'all aren't together? He left out right after you and I just thought y'all were together. I laughed it off and told her what my name was and said if I go missing that uh, you were the last person to see me. She ended up coming outside with me with a phone in her hand to call the police if needed and walked me back to my car but we didn't see the man in the white truck again. So I decided to head home and chalk it off to paranoia. As I was heading to a stop to make my turn from the shopping center to my route home, I saw the white truck pull out from a car wash and follow me. Now I know that I'm not paranoid. I'm speeding through town hoping to get pulled over, and I floored it through the only, it was still yellow barely, traffic light and took several side roads to make sure I lost this guy. I got home and told my dad and husband what had happened and they asked me, did the truck have anything on it, decals or dents, something that made it stand out? I drew out some logo and what letters I thought I saw, it seemed to be a company truck. A week went by and my dad comes in and tells me he had someone look into it and that there was a company that matched the logo I described. He called it and talked with someone and explained what happened and their response was, again? My reaction was, what do you mean again? I know that I should have called the cops when this was happening. At 22 years old, I didn't think I grasped fully what could have happened. Nowadays I carry a 357 in case we ever meet again. Before I begin, let me explain a little something about myself. I'm a very pretty girl and some people may call me conceited for saying that, but I promise I'm not. It's not uncommon for me to receive lots of attention from men and sometimes, but rarely, women. It's all very flattering, however, I have terrible social anxiety and I don't really relish too much attention from anybody. So whenever it comes, I'll politely turn that person down unless I'm genuinely interested. So on to the story. One day I'm at the dollar store, which isn't too far from my house, so it's easy enough for me to walk without wasting gas. I'm searching through the aisles, trying to find the dish soap when this guy walks in. He didn't stand out to me in any way, average looking and wearing a plaid flannel shirt and a pair of jeans. Like I said, nothing special. He never acknowledged me, aside from the occasional quick glance. However, I did notice he seemed to be in every aisle that I was in. I quickly paid for my stuff and left. About halfway to my house, this dark blue sedan drives up slowly keeping pace with me. I automatically knew what this was, another one of those admirers I told you about. As I mentioned before, I have terrible social anxiety, so I was very nervous but also kind of annoyed. Not really wanting to be rude, I knew I'd feel bad about it later. I forced a smile and waved as the person rolled down the window. I immediately saw that it was the same guy from the store. He said, Hi, in a really deep voice. What's your name? I told him my name, well, my nickname, not my full name, and even my age, answering the questions as he asked them. He then went on to offer me a ride home, which I politely declined as my house was literally right around the corner. Without waiting for a reply, I thanked him for the offer and continued on, but he followed, driving slowly like before, keeping pace with me. I didn't say anything and neither did he but I could feel his eyes on me. 
More than just a little creeped out, I began speed walking until I rounded the corner and my house came into view. Luckily, there were people outside. I jogged up to my front door and unlocked it. Before going inside, I looked and saw that he'd stopped in the middle of the street and he was staring me down. He leered at me before speeding off. So I ran inside and shut the door behind me, feeling relieved now. Thinking back on it, I probably shouldn't have led him directly back to my house. Fast forward to 10 o'clock at night, I had just finished cleaning the kitchen and I was taking the trash out. My house is built on a small hill and there's the front door at ground level and there's a set of stairs in the backyard that led up to the back door. I have a door in my basement that goes out into the small concrete patio in the backyard and that's the door I usually take the trash out. While outside, I began to feel weird, a little creeped out even, like something could jump out at me any moment. There are no lights in my backyard, so it gets really dark at night. As quickly as I could, I ran the trash up to the dumpster and ran back slamming the door behind me and locking it. But about two hours later, I was sitting on the couch in the living room when I hear my dog, Puppy, yep, that's her name, start growling and barking loudly. My dog is a one-year-old red-nosed pit bull and pretty big with very good hearing. So whenever she hears something, she'll start barking. I thought nothing of it considering I live in a townhouse until I hear commotion. I walk into the kitchen to find Puppy scratching pretty violently at the basement door. I was about to yell at her to stop and suddenly I realized that something wasn't right. Without thinking, I threw open the basement door and before I could react, Puppy bolted down the stairs. There was a sound of a scuffle and then a man screaming in pain. I ran down the stairs and saw a man dressed in black lying on the basement floor. My dog had lashed onto his arm and wasn't letting go. The man looked up at me with wild eyes and it was the same guy who'd followed me home earlier and begged me to call her off but there was no way in hell I was doing that. Instead, I yelled at him demanding to know what the hell he was doing in my property. Fortunately, the neighbors heard the commotion and came over to see what was going on. I ran upstairs to let them in and told them to call the police. One of my neighbors, which is a big guy in his late 30s, went into the basement and after a few minutes came back up, gripping the guy by the back of the neck. The police along with the EMT arrived 10 minutes later. I told them all about earlier and how he'd followed me home. After getting my statement, they hauled him off. What his intentions were, I'm not sure, but I am so thankful that my dog was there and that I live in a townhouse with thin walls. Apparently he had been lurking around and when I decided to take out the trash, he must have snuck in through my open basement door. I'll preface this by saying that I am more often than not mistaken for being much younger than I really am. Especially in my late 20s and 30s, I was frequently told by people that they thought I was about 10 years younger than I really was. I constantly had experiences where I was talked down to or inappropriately hit on. People also often tried to take advantage of me, not only because I was a woman, but because they perceived my age as much younger than I really was. My boyfriend and I were going shopping and we walked into a dollar store. I hate to shop and the boyfriend likes to look at everything, so I usually go and gather all of our stuff while he putters around. I know, I know, I also play video games and he doesn't. He cooks, I don't. Basically, he's the chick and I'm the dude. Anyway, we split up to do our individual shopping and this dapper little old man, probably 60s, maybe even early 70s, comes up to me and holds out his arm like he expects me to take it. Come on, he says. At first, this doesn't set off any alarm bells because he looks pretty harmless. Well-groomed, clean suit, and decorative cane, and even a jaunty little hat with a feather in the brim. I figured that he was a little confused and was mistaking me for either A, a store employee, or B, a family member. So I let him talk to me a little about the weather and such and just when I'm about to make my excuses and be on my way, he holds out his arm again and says, come on. Hey, I'm sorry, I say. I think you have me confused with someone else. Are you looking for someone? He starts chatting again and during this chat he asks me if I have a job. All the while he's slowly and subtly gravitating to the front of the store. I'm a little thick, I'll admit, and I answer honestly that I didn't. I was taking time off for health issues. He gets very close like, and my face close, and whispers something vague about how he has all kinds of work at his house that needs to be done, and that he's sure he can find something for me at his house. And then he tips me a wink. In my head I'm instantly like, oh hell no, but 
I maintain my cool, and with my smile never faltering, I tell him that I'm very lucky that I have a boyfriend who supports me. Luckily, the boyfriend picked that exact moment to step around the corner and appear at the end of the aisle. And as a matter of fact, here he comes now. As soon as he heard boyfriend, the little old man's expression instantly changed. He went from friendly, happy, and smiley grandpa dude to pissed off, scared, creepy guy. He disappeared so quickly that I began to suspect that he teleported. I never even saw where he went, he was just gone that fast. I would have written it off as just a poor elderly gentleman who had maybe gotten a bit confused until I saw that wink. It was further cemented by the instant change in his expression. He was not confused, and it was definitely an act. I've been hit on by men of inappropriate age before and laughed it off. This was definitely not that. It was just straight up creepy. I shudder to think what he had in mind.